Hello, hello friends, and welcome to another video. Don't know what this little guy is, but it is Friday, October 4th, I believe. It is 8.35 a.m. right now, um, and I feel like it's already been quite the day. I got up, did my morning routine, got some work done, and then I just drove Melissa to the airport because she won tickets to a first form event in St. Louis. So I drove her to the airport. I have the apartment to myself this weekend. I just wanted to vlog today. Honestly, I tried to vlog yesterday. I just randomly picked up my camera in the middle of the day. And honestly, I just quit at the end of the night. Like, I, I don't know why. I got so frustrated. It just wasn't turning out how I wanted it to. Like, it was literally just me sitting here all day, kind of, like, explaining what I was doing on my computer. I mean, let me know if you guys are interested in kind of, like, a behind-the-scenes with um, coaching and being an influencer and whatever, like, everything that I do, because it's really not that glamorous. But I think today I'm just going to do more of a day in the life type deal. Fridays are actually a lighter workload day. They're a check-in day. But right now, I am just going to continue working on some check-ins. I go train with John. Um, I have a session at 10 a.m. Um, so I'll probably make food in a second. Right now, I'm going to make a cup of coffee. But decaf, because I'm going to try to hold off on caffeine today for as long as I can. On our skin, we are young, we feel everything. Yeah, it's starting to begin. Hear the words we were meant to sing. Close my eyes, I feel where we are, where we are, we can run. Okay, we're at the gym. I'm about to go in and train with John. I think we're doing back today. Um, but thank goodness we did legs on Wednesday because I'm so tired today and I have not had any caffeine. But I think I'm going to have him film this on my camera. We'll see how he does. <laughs> He's not the best. He doesn't understand the concept of angles. So if, if you see like I'm a butt crack or something, think John. But we'll see how this goes. I wanted to film one of these workouts for you and we're doing a day in the life. This is part of my life, so I'm three minutes late, but I train with him from 10 to 11 or 11.30, um, depending on how chatty we are, but workout will start in three, two, one. I'm walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. Getting stronger, step by step The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town From London to Taiwan I've been all around the globe Trying to protect your soul The hair says it all. Um, my hair is literally a rat's nest. I have my hair appointment to get my extensions moved up and like 75% of them have fallen out. So I feel like I have like no hair on my head. Um, but I have that appointment next week and this week it's just like not okay. But anyways, hopefully you guys like that workout. I do one upper body and one lower body day with him every week and I post them on Instagram a lot and people seem to really like that. 
and I had my Formula One in ignition, so really fast digesting carb and protein on the way home. And then I used to just wait like an hour and a half or two hours to eat my next meal, but because my carbs are higher, I feel like my other meals, I'm just like shoving food down my throat and I'm actually usually pretty hungry even after I have my Formula One or ignition, after I train. So I'm just kind of having a little snack. I just have half of one of these pumpkin spice bagels. Um, like 12 grams of this cream cheese and then I just have egg whites and I put some spinach and mushroom in there Feel the daylight on our skin We are young we feel Hello, hello my dude. Hope you're having a great day and hopefully it has been a good week I mean the weight fluctuations you're experiencing do Kind of allude to the fact that you probably will get your cycle next week which it is right on schedule and i'm so happy about that and i really don't want to pull you into a deficit right after getting hormones regulated you know like we need to sit around here for at least a, a few months i know you talked about feeling a lot more objective with yourself and honestly that is the first step with all of this mindset stuff, right? I think so often, most of us go through life not even aware of what we're feeling because we're so busy avoiding that discomfort, right? When in reality, and I know I've said this to you before, we could all interpret the exact same situation completely differently based on what insecurities, what fears, etc., that it triggers and i think you taking initiative to journal about that stuff when it comes up um and even just recognizing it is huge you know we talk about how you are an enneagram six and your basic desire is security right and you look for that in every area of your life and that includes relationships you know so um i know that when someone finds that very vulnerable part of you it can be very very terrifying because it's like okay if they reject me because of this they're rejecting me right or um me being my authentic self is not okay and it's a very insecure and vulnerable position to be in and you already are more than enough and you just have to step into that and realize it right if we think that us not being typical or um just us being ourselves isn't good enough whatever that underlying thought might be that's what we're going to attract into our lives i've never seen you more alive and just yourself and look at all the amazing people that you've attracted into your life the more accepting you are of yourself the more accepting others will be of you so you guys did just hear little bits and pieces of one of my check-ins obviously i can't put a lot of my check-ins in this video to kind of show you how i do my weekly check-ins with my clients our check-ins are when I do make nutrition, cardio adjustments, if they're due for a new training split. Um, I give them that and I always like to give reasoning behind why I'm changing what I'm changing, why I'm doing what I'm doing. And a big part of my coaching style is working on mindset stuff because we can make all the physical changes in my opinion, but if we don't fix, not even fix, if we don't work on the stuff in here, we're, we're going to manifest that stuff in other areas of our life. I am a lifestyle coach, right? I know firsthand that just fixing your body um, or tracking macros, it might increase your confidence, but I wanna change lives. So that's a big reason why I do the long audio recordings. I ask them for a lot of information just in terms of how they're feeling mentally and physically, obviously their weights and how they're adhering to protocol and all that kind of stuff. They do take me a long time. Um, yeah, that's how I do it. I love answering check-ins and I just get lost in time. And we are eating yet again. But I just have but I just have some rice, chicken, um, asparagus. And then on top I just have some guac and then some of this Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning Greek yogurt style dip, which pretty good not as good as i was expecting it just kind of tastes like greek yogurt with everything but the bagel seasoning in it to be totally honest but i want to get through this so i'm going to eat this and then go back outside and 
finish up check-ins. My friend Meg is in town from LA, so she just texted me and I think we might go get dinner tonight. But yeah, that's the game plan. I might go see her. I think it would be good for me to like get out and see people. Um, and then I definitely do just want to spend some time like chilling some balls, you know? Just hanging with Lex. Okay, it is almost 4 o'clock. Um, I have a couple check-ins left to do. Um, I haven't had my greens or reds yet today. Um, so I'm going to have these now just because I need to have them every day. So the reds help with immunity. They help with cell function, um, which means that they help you absorb all the nutrients you have. They help with metabolism. Um... They help get rid of free radicals, and then the greens um, are for digestion. Again, immunity. There is 50 different green things in there, and there's also probiotics and digestive enzymes. So these two combined help so much with my digestion. I always get asked if the greens are okay if you have celiac because they have wheat and barley grass in them, and yes, they are. I mean, if you're super sensitive, maybe be careful, but they are micro-filtered, so they don't have the seeds in them. Um, so, the seeds are what cause the reaction if you have celiac. So, I have not had any issues. Well, and it's something that I've talked about with the first form, Jeremy, the first form dietitian. So, I'm going to make these, and then I think I'm going to go on a little walk outside. I don't know guys, I'm just having like a very off afternoon. Like all this week, I think because I've been doing a lot of my, my own mindset work and that's like digging into a lot of really uncomfortable stuff. Um, but I've just been like so anxious for no reason. Like I just feel like I'm gonna cry. And that's something that's been happening a lot. I wasn't even gonna say anything, but it's kind of hard to just like act like my normal Lexi self when I don't feel like it. And I was fine this morning and then all of a sudden it hit me. And I just feel very like, when you're relearning how your brain works and learning all of the battles and the emotions and stories that you've like pushed down for so long, like I literally just feel like a stranger in my body and in my mind and it gives me a lot of anxiety. Like it's really scary, it's really cool and I have these moments of so much clarity that I haven't had in so long. You only have those moments of clarity after you have the moments where you're just like, I don't, like I can't. I can't make it through this and like all, all I know now is like I will make it through it and I just have to sit with it um but it's been harder um and it's just hard because I have like zero distraction right like no one's here I refuse to go on social media to numb it I refuse to um drink a shit ton of caffeine so I can be productive which was a big reason I cut it out so it's just hard and I think a big piece of it too is I'm not taking my Adderall anymore so that impacts the dopamine in your brain so I think that I do feel kind of just like depressed this week because I haven't been taking it um, but I've had really good moments like really good like feeling better than I have in a long time and I've also had just moments where I literally just start crying for no reason and it's terrifying to me because I've just been such like a happy but also emotionless person for a really long time and now I'm just like I don't know what's going on but like yeah. In those moments of clarity that I have, I'm like, I have not felt this empowered in so long. And that is my mission in life. Like, I want everyone to feel that feeling of stepping into your own power. Claiming the power that you already have that so many of us discount and don't even realize that we have. Like, that is my mission. And I am finally truly truly doing that after kind of half doing that for so long and it's the best feeling in the world but it only comes after these moments of feeling really shitty you know until we revisit all of the stuff that has been overpowering us um, for so long without us even realizing it until we overcome and work through all that stuff We're never gonna be able to like truly step into who we truly are because we don't even know who we are Which is what I'm talking about and, like gives me so much anxiety because I'm like who am I? <sighs> Anyways, this camera's about to die. I'm gonna go finish my work I'm literally using you guys as a mirror, but I just I always feel better 
when I kind of take a few minutes to get myself together. Makes me feel a lot better. So, that's what we're doing. And I forgot to draw on my eyebrows this morning, so that is lovely. I was wondering why I felt so naked. I think we're gonna go with the scrunchie. Go for the pony. Yep, we're going for it. I am just wearing this big t-shirt. It's literally just a men's extra large t-shirt um, from Balance. I actually have seen a bunch of people just wear their men's t-shirts as dresses. Um, I am wearing shorts under it, but I'm just wearing filas, like, you know, platformy sneakers, and then just a big ass ponytail. Not even wearing a bra. Yeah. That's what we're wearing. I kind of feel like a child. If I do end up going out, I'm going to change. But I'm just going to Luna Grill, which is like a Mediterranean restaurant. Um, it's like so, so, so casual with Meg. So, my client just texted me. Um, so, I'm not trying to get dressed up. I'm going to just chill and be comfy. Get myself ready to go out of the house. And yeah, so I'm just going to get some more stuff done on my laptop before I go, and I'll see you guys at Luna Grill. <laughs> just kidding, you guys thought I was gonna wait to talk to you till I got to Luna Grill, but we're doing a decaf cold brew. This is my first time doing this, so we'll see how this goes. I need to like fool myself. Basically what I did is I just used a decaf K-cup. It is glazed donut flavor, um, and I'm just gonna do the normal. A little pumpkin spice creamer. Some liquid stevia. A little bit of this pumpkin cheesecake skinny syrup. And then a whole bunch of ice. This all the time actually. Ooh, quite tasty. It's actually way less bitter because usually I get the concentrate. I was like, why does this look so like creamy? Mm. I got my food. We're still waiting on Meg's. Oh, look how beautiful Yay. she is. Um, can we just take a look at the food and how beautiful it looks? Because I can't wait to eat it. Dude, I'm so <laughs> excited. So it's a chicken plate. So it's like a chicken kebab. And then there's rice, salad, carrots. Pita. Yes. Yes, Damn it is God. Meg. That was super fun. I love Meg. I haven't seen her in forever. Um, and now a bunch of my friends are all going out. Um, and I'm just not like, I'm so tired. But I think I'm going to go over to Sarah's just while they like pregame and get ready and stuff and just say hi to everyone because I haven't seen anyone really this week. So I'm probably not going to bring you in, but I just wanted to update you, let you know that I'm going to go see friends and then have a chill night by myself. Comment below if you relate and you're someone who you love being alone and doing nothing every once in a while, but you also love being around people. It's quite the debacle. It's like, what do I want? So I'm home, it's like 10 o'clock right now. I still need to shower, but I just put on pajamas so I could be cozy. And honestly, I think I might just find a movie on Netflix and online shop because it's full and I feel like buying clothes. So yeah. Um, I'll catch up with you guys probably when I pour myself a glass of wine because I have one trapped for tonight and PMS is in full effect. I feel like my cervix is being pulled out of my body. So we're taking deep breaths. Kind of a downer vlog, man. I'm sorry.
That's just day in the life of Lex. I'm actually very excited. I'm just gonna chill on the couch, chill some balls. It'll be a good time. Okay, so I've just been sitting here. I showered. I feel so clean. <sighs> Pour myself a nice big glass of wine. I've just been planning some fun business stuff out, getting my ideas out there. Um, I started a few carts for online shopping. I think it's like 11.30 right now. Um, so I'm probably just gonna plan out my day a little bit for tomorrow. Make my last meal, which is just gonna be my normal cream of rice that you guys see in like every video with the pumpkin spice latte protein from First Form. I'm already looking forward to it. But just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. It really wasn't like a super exciting vlog. I, I feel like I was kind of a, a downer, but it's just where I'm at and I'm someone who I have a really hard time being inauthentic, as inauthentic as social media can be. Um, it's like, it's, it's a blessing and a curse because I can spot inauthenticity from a million miles away even if someone else doesn't realize they're being inauthentic. Literally don't think I like have the capability of covering up how I feel. But what I will say is I am really good at turning my mood around and being objective. Um, I'm so happy I went and saw Meg. I'm so happy I went and saw Sarah and Brendan and Devin. Um, and you know, this is just what I needed tonight. But yeah. Um, Thank you guys for sticking with me. Hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. I'm enjoying a chill night alone, which is so needed. I don't know the last time I've had a night alone. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog.